Hello guys, this is Stimmo and we are here with a new series of Minecraft Feed the Beast. I'm here with my good friend Vicky. Hey everybody. Uh, he is also one of the uploaders to the Repcon channel, currently doing Kingdoms, Kingdoms of Amalur, is it Amalur? Amulor, Amulor, I don't know, you're probably right. <laughs> there you go, well at least I can spell it right, eh? Um, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, this is uh, Feed the Beast, the forever growing uh, mod pack to Minecraft that someone has coded. Uh, it basically brings new additions to the game, more variety. As you can see if I press E on my inventory there's 32 pages of different things that we can craft. Uh, but yeah, this is, we're new here, we're, this we're like just starting today. Um, so we have nothing. You can look at my inventory. Completely empty. So we're going to take it slow. We're going to start from basics before we move to the more advanced stuff. Um, so Vic, what do you want to do? Do you want to provide us with food or...? Yeah, I'll go out looking for some food. Um, I never played Feed the Beast. Well, hardly ever played it, so I have no idea. Um, I guess we do need food and I can do that. Sounds right. good to me. What we could do with this as well is some beds so we can set spawn in our new location. Yeah, and guess what? It's becoming dark already. Oh dear. Ah. Yeah. So, okay. Well, what I'm going to do is we have this nice backdrop to where we've actually chosen to uh, set up camp. Um, That's right. And basically, we have a, a lot of wood. Um, but I don't want to affect the backdrop, so there's a little snow biome over here where I can probably take the wood down from those trees. Yeah, that's a good idea. So we both head off in that direction mm -hmm. and get some stuff. Um, There's some pigs here as well. Nah, sort of then. What I can do, if I, if I get the wood down, I can make some uh, standard pickaxes. Um, you can actually kill a couple of the pigs, but if we keep two for breeding as well, and then we have yeah, I won't, I won't go. infinite food. Um, but basically, the new series, Feed the Beast, what we're going to do is we're both recording. So what I can do with these um, episodes for you guys is have a picture-in-picture. -picture. Uh, we'll have the main picture, obviously, on the large screen. And then in the top right corner, we'll have the other recording. And wherever the uh, the action takes place, I shall uh, zoom in and zoom out onto main screen. So the action is always on the bigger picture. So, leave those two pigs there. What are you doing at the moment, Vic? Are you are you just starting to get a standard food, or are you going to start with a a farm situation so we have a, a constant income? I think we just do a normal standard farm, so that way we won't need to worry about food. We can concentrate on a lot of stuff. The only thing is, I've only actually seen pigs, which uh. could be an issue. I wonder how far we'll have to travel to actually find some sheep. Yeah, uh, I've seen any sheep myself. What I'm going to do is I'm getting this wood. I'll get crafting tables made, um, but I'll put the saplings back down because I don't want to spoil the scenery. We've got a really good, nice uh, setup here. We've got the plow. I don't know what biome we're in. Let's have a quick look. The shrubland biome, which is one of the new biomes to feed the bees. It's kind of like a plains. Um, open plan. We've got the water nearby which is good. We've also got a little river which is going through our setup which I can show you on the on the uh, the recording. Yeah. We need well, to get an oven to cook this meat. I'll say, well, say I'll do a crafting table now and I'll get yeah. some um, wooden pickaxe made. So watch your back though because I just realised it's pitch black. Yeah, so here's the crafting table. Get some sticks made. Oops. Right, where are you? Okay, we've got skellies all over the place. Okay, yeah, I've just seen those. There's your pickaxe. Just put it to the side of the... Uh, Sweet. ...side of the crafting table. Alright, let's get some stone then. But yeah, before we uh, started um, recording this episode, we had a bit of a discussion on how we wanted to go about Feed the Bees, what direction we wanted to go in, and... Um, uh, I'm, I'm not new to Feed the Beast, Vic's quite new to it, but I have basic knowledge of it um, and I feel the main thing we need is power. Um, power, the more power you get obviously the more items uh, you can run, the more advanced items will take more power as well. Um, so you get things like um, 
solar panels, for example, but you can also get advanced solar panels, which obviously gives you more power. Uh, only when it's sunny, though, they actually stop working if it's <laughs> raining. Okay. Um, but the discussion me and Vic had was that uh, we want to try and do everything legitly. So we, we're we going to build a little house just for ourselves. Um, and normally on Minecraft, what you'd use is uh, torches to light the area. Uh, but our aim is to do it properly. For example, we want to put lights in. Uh, we do have the option of using uh, lamps, which I can show you. So the good thing about this mod pack is we have um, NEI, which is not enough items. It basically shows you what items come in the mod pack. If you click the item, it shows you how to craft it. Now this item that I've just clicked on is an inverted white lamp. Um, you, you can just have white lamps. Um, you can also have these white cage lamps as well. You can tell one's not on while the other one is on. What we'll probably be doing is having them not on and by the flick of a switch the light will come on and obviously to do this we need to generate enough power to do that but also running side machines like uh, furnaces you can have um, electric furnaces which uh, makes smelting go a lot quicker than a standard stone furnace so I think that's our aim advance through the, the powers starting off with coal which I've actually not even seen yet wow. I found some iron um, but this is a this is a the uh, whitelisted server. It's on 24/7, so you will be seeing people log in, log out. Uh, it's quite a friendly community between the RPM partnership um, partners. Uh, so you'll see people chatting as well, saying hi and having a good discussion. We'll probably get involved as well while we're recording. So you'll see that through the recordings that we do over these past weeks and the new episodes that we make. Um, but what we'll do is record the main things that we're doing. So, for this first episode, it's just setting up camp. Like I said, you see the backdrop, it's not what you can see at the moment, it's pretty pitch black. I can probably turn up the uh, the brightness for you so you can see a bit more of it. Got this nice uh, woodlands background, massive trees that come with Feed the Beast mod pack. Yeah, they're awesome. Uh, and obviously, providers of plenty of wood. Um, but yeah, we just want to get a little village made, which is completely run off power, eventually. But probably have a main factory for industry and things like that. Um, but this first episode is just setting up camp in this new area that we've got. We've got the waypoint set. You can see one over there as well to where the start spawn is. That's where all new people will spawn in. Right in that location, it's a good thousand meters away, so away from the action. Um, hopefully, we won't be getting a distracted too much with other people coming over we do know there's a couple of guys on the server who do like to prank uh, and fortunately when Vic wasn't online I happened to accidentally give away our cords <laughs> oh dear <laughs> uh, and he did say he was setting up a waypoint as well um, so expect us to get pranked um, the guy I'm talking about is Lord Toast, I think is on now. Yep, Lord Toast, Face and Jake. They basically live in the same place and they're working together. And they uh, they pranked someone not so long ago by putting a lot of sand over their house. Uh, whether he's discovered it yet, I'm not sure. Uh, but how's the how's the, uh, the farming situation going on? Do you still need some wood? Like I, said, I need wood for the oven. Um, I got the oven. Might as well put it down. Cool. Okay, let me put half my wood in there. And I put the meat. Is that the wrong way? Yeah, I'll move it. There we go. There we go. Uh, There's a bit of light. I'm not liking these mobs I'm seeing with the armor. Yeah. I know there's one stalking us somewhere. I was looking while I was talking to these guys in the uh, recording. Other people watching the recording. There was a guy over here with full gold armor. I'm not sure where he's gone. Um. But yeah, Feed the Beast is huge. I mean, I don't know if there's a way of showing you how many mods there is on this. It shows you the starter. There's something like 56 mod packs on it. Um, and it just brings different dimensions to the game. I mean, you've obviously got the overworld where we're starting now. Um, there's the nether still. There's the end where you can go and find the, uh, the dragon. But there's also a place called the Twilight Forest, which would be a good aim for us. I, I've personally never been there. Uh, I've seen it before in footage. And it looks pretty mean. There's some new mobs over there. 
there's new tree kinds, so if we can bring some saplings back and everything. And it's daylight, or nearly. And I can turn my brightness down. Uh, video settings, brightness, down to, I'll put it back down to moody. And we can take in the sunset. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'm going to set up a little place, just a little place to start us off. Um, where should we do it? Let's do it in front of the river, so the uh, the backyard backs up onto the river. Sure. We sharing that place, or are we just making two different houses? We can share a place to start off with. All right. And then we, uh, when we uh, progress through the episodes, get the power coming in, we can look at uh, getting the uh, the factory made, where the power will be uh, sorted, and then. Oops, I'll just put down a cobblestone block. Uh, we'll be sorted then, uh, is it distributed out towards the the locals? Mm -hmm. And then we can look at getting separate houses, have what machines we want in there. There's some cheap machines, but there's also some very, very expensive machines, uh, which would uh, we'd have to go on really good mining expeditions, which we can do. Uh, you need some really advanced ingredients to make them. Yeah. We'll work on it, slowly, it. we get there. See, the second episode, once we've got this first episode sorted out with our new place, the second episode will probably be working towards a macerator. Basically, what a macerator does is that when we have a good power supply, which will probably be standoff, starting off as a coal and a generator, the macerator will let us duplicate our items. So we could, for example, let's say we use, I don't know, um, iron. Let's say we found a block of iron. We put the iron in the macerator, and what it'll do, it'll turn it into two iron dust. And what we can do with the two iron dust then is put it into a furnace, and it'll give us two iron ingots. So basically, instead of just getting an iron ore and put it into a furnace and getting one iron ingot, you'll have two iron dust. No! You crashed. Crashed, yeah. No problem. I'm, I'm still on, so I'm still recording. Yeah, don't worry. But um, you basically get two iron dust, put them in, and you'll get two ingots. So the, the macerator, you can duplicate your items. So I think it's one of the priorities. So oh, we yeah. can maximise... Oh, my phone's going off. Better turn that on silent. Um, we can maximise the uh, the stuff that we get. It'll save a lot of mining trips and whatnot. But I also have my little friend as well, my turtle, which I want to work towards. Uh, a turtle, you, you, can, you can get different types of turtles. I can show you. In my NEI. <laughs> yeah, you get these different kind of turtles. Mining turtles, you get digging turtles, a felling turtle, which is for like tree chopping and whatnot. Uh, there's also one, there is it, there is a melee turtle. So you can set up XP farms, you can put a melee turtle at the bottom of it, and when the mobs fall down, it'll automatically kill it for you. Uh, but my aim is to get a mining turtle, and with enough fuel, and the right command you can set up to mine and it brings back all the stuff to a chest for you so it saves on the uh, the tedious tunnel mining that you have to do manually uh, how are you coming along Vic? are you back on? or? Um, nearly, just gonna go to multiplayer and join server so I'm just gonna start by getting a little house going keep everything odd numbers because Minecraft isn't even not uh, even number friendly. Door's got to be in the middle, man. I've got to put the door in the middle. <laughs> no one likes double doors. But I need some more cobblestone. I got an achievement. I got wood. Got wood. I got wood. I also need food. <laughs> so I hope that's coming along quickly. Yeah, yeah, it's it's. I'm it's down coming to along. using this texture pack. I am down to one chicken drum. <laughs> There should be three pieces of meat in the oven. Three pieces of meat, okay. Let me just grab this cobblestone then and I'll jump over. Uh, this, uh, if anyone asking, this is the uh, the Svax texture pack. It comes, you can install it, manu install it manually, uh, but it does come with the FTB launcher. Um, I can't remember, the, I think it's feed-the-beast.com. You can download the launcher from there. It's always getting updated. You'll get frequent uh, little pop-ups when you download the launcher. There's, there's an update available. Uh, this server uses the ultimate mod pack. There's different types of mod packs. Uh, the famous one, probably the uh, the most used one, is Minecraft, which is used by 
people on YouTube such as B Double O and Generic B, the B team. They're using the Minecraft on their server. Uh, but this one's the ultimate. Uh, it has a lot more mods involved in it. I assume it combines all the different mod packs together. But this is the Savax Texture Pack. It's, there's an option on the uh, the launcher itself called Texture Packs, and I think there's actually three which are actually installed with it. Well, we'll come along with it, but you just click, you literally click install, and it was it was a lot easier than doing it manually. I'll tell you that. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, but what we do have, we've only actually added our one custom mod ourselves. Uh, we have the armor status hood, which is you can see in my bottom right corner. I've currently got a pickaxe, and it's got a red five next to it. That's because it's a wood pickaxe. The the number, the life expect, uh, expect uh, expectancy of the tool will be a high digit. So, for example, if it's like a, a stone one, it'll last longer than a wood one. That five represents basically how many hits it's got left. So what I can do is I, I'll show you. So that's one block down to four, one block down to three, and then obviously past one, it's going to break. There you go, and it disappears. But it works the same as uh, for armor as well. When you've got armor on, uh, they'll be all down that bottom right corner so you can see how much... Uh, how many hits my armor has. Um, you can also have jetpacks as well in this game, and it just basically tells you how much power is left in your jetpack instead of going back to the inventory screen to have a look, um, which can be quite ouch. I'm dying. I'm dying. I need food. Oven, oven, good to oven. By the way, while you were talking, I found a little cavern. Okay. A blue little crystal inside. I don't think we have to see anything for crystals at the moment, but I suppose it wouldn't hurt in having it. Uh, I can see you over there. Yeah, just wrestling with this pig. <laughs> there we go. You haven't, you haven't found any sheep yet, have you? No sheep, no. Maybe that'll be my next task, is to help you find some sheep. Uh, yeah, just chicken and pigs here. But let me get this little uh, little place set up for us. Well, I had a bit of a frame drop then. But we're not going for anything... Uh, Anything too dapper. It's just a little starter house. And then we'll work on progressing building sides and adding detail. Uh, one thing I'm not sure if Fix knows about, I think he's actually heard about it before, I'm not sure though, is that we get micro blocks on this. Oh. Micro blocks will be your new best friend when it comes to building buildings and. Uh, adding details to them, to them. I know that uh, you're a big fan of making your buildings look good after one of the servers that we owned. But if you press E on your inventory, yeah, and then in your search bar at the bottom, just empty it out. Because I'm not sure exactly what to search, but if you, you'll be on a different page for me uh, to me. But if you, if I give the number, yeah, uh, we could have, for example, let's say. 751 ID. Should be diamond panel corner. Okay, I'm there. Okay, all these little blocks are basically from normal blocks. You can get a a handsaw. So if you type handsaw in the tool in the search bar, yeah, you get diamond handsaw, iron, green, sapphire, ruby, and sapphire handsaws. These basically allow you to cut blocks. Wow. So you could have micro blocks. So for example. There's a. Uh, I had a. I was on this server before playing by myself on single player, and um, my house, I wanted to have uh, basalt steps. Uh, if you search basalt steps, there isn't one. So, what I did is I got basalt, a whole block of it, and I cut it down with a sandsaw, meaning I could make basalt steps. So, if you think there isn't something that can be made, it can. You can add so much detail with these micro blocks. You can have corner blocks. You can put strips. So even if you just want like I know a wall, one part of the wall to stand out, I know like two millimeters more than the part next to it. You can do that just by putting a slice panel on it. Wow, it's a lot of customization then. What you can do? It's a lot, and a real lot. Uh, I need to try and get on top of this roof. How hard do you want roof? Does it matter with being a default house? Um, I think as long as it does the jobs, we can always upgrade it. That's it. Uh, do you want to move the the crafting table and the furnace inside here? Yeah, I'll do that. 
And then once I've got the roof on this... Oh, that's a good point, we need sand. I think we've got some of the river though. Yeah, there's some bits of bumps of sand. Clumped together. Uh, I've got some cobblestone if you need to. Uh, that's a good point. Okay, cool. So I need to make myself a pickaxe again because my wooden one broke. Stones, tools go in. Oh, I'm moving up in the world when you've got stone pickaxes. Yeah. Uh, I've still got some wood. Do you need any wood or? No, I've got enough. Okay. I'm not sure where the, oh, the sun's going down. So it's about to get dark again. I could really do with those sheep, so we'll, we'll have a look for those in a minute. Yeah, let me give you some more meat. Have you got any cobblestone on you? Um, ah, thank you. I do, actually. Here you go. Thank you. Not much. Oh, no, I do. I just need to make a pickaxe. Then I can go for it. in the dark. That's it. Achievement get. Getting an upgrade. There you go. Even though I swear I've already had a stone pickaxe, but okay. <laughs> but yeah, if you look in the bottom right now, I just made myself a stone pickaxe, and it's saying it's got 132 hits on it. Far greater than the wooden one, so... Nice little mod, armor status hood. You can get it from the Minecraft forum. Uh, I think there's, the, there's actually three more mods on that page as well, but we only use this one. Uh, I think one was a direction hood. Basically, just shows you north, south, west, etc. But as you can see in the top right hand corner, um, mini map has south, east, west, north on it. Uh, there was another one. So I think it's a status effect hood. Basically, say someone I don't know put a potion on you, put a Gave you, made you nauseous or put a slow potion on you or a speed potion. Status effect, the only way to see how long is left on it is if you went into your inventory. And it will display it left of your inventory. With status effect, what it will do with whatever, with whatever effect you have on you, it will put it on the right of the screen. Uh, along with the time left of it. So again, it's, it's just saving you from going into your, into your inventory to display how long is left. Um, the, the main reason for the, the armor status one is that uh, when I played um, the single player on this, I had a jetpack. Um, to check the jetpack without armor status, you'd have to go into inventory. I don't recommend it mid-flight. <laughs> no. you, you decline very quickly. So yeah, the armor status basically saves a lot of time and lets you live longer. <laughs> so you don't free fall. <laughs> Um, so let me... Zombie here, let's run away. So I just spent like a couple of minutes trying to get the... Oh, I crashed. You crashed again. I crashed again. No! You might just have to free up some more memory on your computer next time. Yeah. I think that'll be the issue. I don't know what's taking it all up though. But what was you going to say? You've, you've been doing... I was a couple of minutes trying to put the wooden crafting bench the right way around and I still couldn't do it. I'll leave it for you to do it. <laughs> yeah, this this is the thing. Uh, you'll notice uh, with the episodes with Vic, he's a uh, what's the word? O OCD? No, oh. no Vic. <laughs> OCD. He, uh, like I said, he wants the crafting table. I assume by this because the doors are on the side of it there, <laughs> and he wants it face fronting. Um, yeah, you'll get used to it, guys. Don't worry about it. Oh, it's raining. And that's a good call to get the roof on, which is my next step. <laughs> and yes, guys, I know, it's cobblestone, cobblestone everywhere. It will be changed. It's only a little standard house to start us off with. So let's get this roof on here. Uh, how do we want to do it? I don't want to make it look dead mongy. <laughs> Not a square roof. No. Let's go with a slant to centre, I reckon. Uh, I really need this sheep. I'm, uh, hello, I've been locked on by a zombie. Oh wow! See, this is what I mean. There's a skeleton there with full gold armor on. Uh, so I'm staying away from him because I have nothing to defend myself with. Uh, I haven't got time to go and get more cobblestone, so we'll finish this off with dirt. And Vic is back with us. Oh, probably right next to the zombie. Yeah. Oh, scary. There's a skeleton to your left hand side. Okay. Um, I've got six wood. Do you mind making me a door? 
I can hear that zombie somewhere. I don't know if he's actually yeah, inside he's the right house. The zombie with gold armor, or skelly with gold armor. Yeah. Fantastic. Um, okay, they're inside the house. Um, that's oh. brilliant. <laughs> Let me just turn down the audio because the rain's really loud. There we go. Turn that down. Okay, so we've got a roof now. Uh, how many is in there? There's, I think I saw two inside. Awesome. So it's me and my pickaxe against these zombies. This could be oh, an angry zombie as well. Angry zombies got the red eyes. They run a lot faster than. Uh... Oh my god! One with me. <laughs> oh wow. Okay. Um, I think the best thing to do is go around all the windows. I'm gonna put dirt in them, and then I'm gonna have to challenge them. Um, this could end really badly. We, I think this server is hosted in the US. Um, so a zombie could win by lag. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Get your excuses in already. That's it. Might as well, because I think I'm going to die. I haven't got much to lose. I'm coming. The only, downside, the only downside is that if I die, I'm not going to spawn here. And I'm going to spawn way over there, 970 meters away, where, oh. where spawn is. Looks like Vic's going to beat me to it though. Yeah, so I, I got full, kind of full health. How many's down there? Because I could actually come and help you. Alright, it's clear. It's no. Oh, that's you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, nearly got you. <laughs> so I'm going to plug these up. It's going to be pitch black. Hopefully yeah. nothing spawns in here with us. Some food, just in case you need it. Some more food. I've got seven now, thank you. <laughs> Alright, cool. Ah, it's raining. Perfect. Bonus. Uh, we need sheep so bad. <laughs> yeah, we need that bed. <laughs> I'm gonna head out. There, we've got plenty. Oh my god, there's skeletons everywhere. Oh, uh, and those cacti thingies. Creepers. That's the one. Cacti. Well, at least we've got light in the uh, lava. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good. It looks like our first coal is actually keeping the lava in place as well, so that should be a challenge. Um, mm. But no, we need sheep so bad. And then we set for life. So I'm gonna head out into the snow biome. And I'm gonna get some sheep. Found some pumpkins. I'm just gonna cut another tree down. That's too big for me. This one's alright. Here's a nice little feature. These this is part of the Feed the Bees mod pack. It's a beehive. It's a, a mod called I can't remember what it's called. So it's Bees XL, I think it is. But I actually think that's the expansion pack to the actual, the original bee mod. And basically, you can breed bees and make different bees, uh, which are really good. You can you eventually make items from it because they uh, they obviously give out honey and different kind of uh, combs and stuff. Very advanced. Uh, I'm going to leave that to Victor. <laughs> I'm sure he'll enjoy it. <laughs> My thing, my speciality in Feed the Beast is um, auto sorting. I love my pipes. You can get pipes on this, uh, you can get barrels, and you can basically sort. Uh, I'll make a big sorting room in a factory. I found sheep! <gasps> I got sheep. Uh, but you can make sorting items, and I'll get them all manually, uh, automatically sorted. You'll see things floating through pipes. Oh my god, Creeper. Run away. I have two wool. I have coal. Yay! In a area where I can actually get it and not get killed by lava. Sure. And I've got a feeling that something's going to close up on me. Yep, it's well, a sheep. I'm, I'm next, yeah. I've got you covered. But there's a zombie. I can hear a zombie. Around. I can hear a zombie. That's what I thought it was, but then I realised it was a sheep. Oh, it's right next to me. I'll, I'll take this guy out. So let me collect this coal. This will provide us with our first. Fuel. This guy doesn't die. Oh my god, there's two zombies, alright, I'm retreating. Just run away. Oh, okay. Find cover. Uh, pickaxe. I'll take them out with a pickaxe. Oh, chicken! Yeah, boy. At least we have a fuel source now, we can make our torches. We use torches until we get proper electricity going, guys, and when we get the electricity, we can get lights actually proper powered. Get everything done legitly. And... <sighs> How many? Oh, okay. We well, didn't take that zombie away. No. 
There's a sheep there, give me that sheep. I want that sheep. I found um, two more sheep. I got three wool. I'm about to hit four. Oh, my pickaxe broke right at the worst time possible, and I'm still being chased by a zombie. Oh my god, and a skeleton. How many wool have you got? I. not at the moment. Awesome. Clean them now. Uh, I'm bringing zombies over to you. That's nice. <laughs> He also brought a skelly, but they seem to be interested in you. Holy so. shit. Ah, get away from me! Give me that wall. Ah! Eat food, must eat food. How many? I've got two walls. you got two? Yeah. I've got four. That's six. We've got beds. We have it, yeah. Let's yeah. head back. Yeah. This, this joint's getting a bit scary. It is. And what we'll do, we'll get these beds made, we'll get a door made, get the lights made. And I think we'll call it for the first episode. Have you seen this guy? Look at this zombie. This guy's got enchanted leather pants. Oh, that's why it's glowing, eh? Yep. Yeah. You get enchantment tables, you can enchant things, it basically gives it more stability. Is that why he's not burning up? I think it's the armor in general. He's got protection from the sun. If you knock his hat off, he'll probably die, but I won't risk it. He <laughs> seems to be interested in you. <laughs> that's how I'm doing a runner. <laughs> He's still following me. Need to get weapons, man. Need to take these critters out. <gasps> oh, oil. Oil. That could be an interesting thing for later on. Yeah. There's a creeper there. Watch that creeper. He's heading on to you now. To your left, to your left. Oh, yeah, I see him. He should be burning up as well. Uh, creepers don't. Oh, yeah. Creepers and spiders can survive the daylight. There's an enderman over here. Don't look at him. Look at his knees. They don't like being stared at. Look at that, look at that house, man, that's top notch. Yeah, with bricks. Hello! Everywhere. Mod for windows. Yeah, it's quite Mod for window, that's it. It's Mod like roof. a typical place in Nottingham. <laughs> Board, boarded up. <laughs> no, there's two uh, creepers near the house. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Ah! Oh, dear. <laughs> um... Alright, we're gonna rumble with this bastard. Uh... Well, we've had our first accident. Yeah. I'm sure it won't take you too long to put that together. Oh god, there's another oh one. Oh my god, that was a big explosion. Oh wow. Okay, I don't... I'm alright. This is what I don't like about creep explosions, is that they actually don't give you back everything they uh, blew up. And you can blow up items as well, basically. Uh -huh. So now I don't have enough dirt to fill that hole in. I got lots of dirt. Uh, let me just put some more meat in the oven. We need a chest as well, don't we? Yeah, we can get a chest made. I'll, I'll, I think I've got six wood on me, which will be probably for the beds anyway. I'm gonna have to do the chest. Have you got that dirt on you so I can fill this hole in? Yeah. Uh, where are you? You're here. Hello. There we go. Behind you. Ah, thank you. Okay, so... So that's that filled in. You need the um, cotton, the wool, even, don't you? Yeah. Let's get these beds made. Throw that somewhere. White and a brown one. You could have preferably like thrown it on me, but okay. Um. <laughs> effort. Okay. We'll try it again. One. Two. There okay. we go. And then we've got three more. Three wood, um, and we have beds. We don't have beds. Why is that not going down? Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, so now let me get these torches. Have you got any wood on you? I do. Yes. Da, da, da. I give you the um, logs. Mhm. Mm uh, by the door. Oh, cheers, you know, just make make me walk. Hey, need to lose that fat. <laughs> <laughs> so if we get these made, get some torches made, we'll replace these eventually with the lights like I said. Everything yeah. will be done with a flick of a switch. Uh, take that all out. And we, we will have this house either, we'll have a better house than this. Yeah, just a little shack at the moment. I'll put some food here. I shall make a door. A communal chest. Um, 
Just in case we get desperate, so I'm not on flesh. Vic, we are safe. Yay! I knew we could do it. So what we're going to do, we're going to end this recording here, guys, for the first episode of Feed the Beast with the Repcon boys, Vicky and Stimmo. Yeah. Uh, we are going to wait it out till it's night time so we can get in our beds and set our spawn here. Uh, but we're going to keep episodes to about 30 minutes long. Uh, try and do them every Sunday as well. And uh, yeah, this is the first episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the like button, give us a comment, subscribe to the channel so you get a notification when we do our next episode. Uh, Vic, give us a bow. Um, how do you do it? Oh, it <laughs> shit. Shift? Oh no, I, ch I changed my key bounds. Oh um, wow. What a, um, what a way to kill I give the... A, I give a jump. What yeah. a way to kill the outro there, man. I'm sorry, people. <laughs> I'll, I'll work on it. I'll practice on the next video, I promise. Alright, so okay guys, we'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.